it's time to see who will take the momentum back in this best of seven spawning in the bottom left position of the map that is frost for some reason the name of the map just slipped my mind but it is uh from samsung galaxy con solar who took two very sharp poignant wins to start this series off he's up against this gentleman in the southeast the blue zerg player from team evil geniuses it is jadong so jadong 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 He's held the last cheddar, and he did reasonably well in that first game. So, where do we go now? That is the question. And it's kind of interesting. Solar has just tried to force a few things that simply didn't work. Um, Solar went for that really fast baneling attack. He got completely shut down. Um, he tried to force some sort of weird base trade by running past the, um, the swarm hosts in the third game. That didn't work. In this game, he's going to go hatchery first. And I like that. You know, we haven't actually seen a really long macro game between either of these, between these two players yet, actually, together against each other. Um... It's always something that kind of really, really sharp thing that gives one player an edge at the beginning of the game is, is really how it seems to have been going. But they spawn relatively close to each other. So we'll see where this, uh, where this leads to. Because, honestly, I feel like I got to favor Jadong in the longer run. But... Looking at Solar, he's definitely had a lot more success in the early in the early phases of the game. Um, I I don't really know what else to say. I really like him, um, and I'm just glad that he's here. Honestly, just because I feel like there's probably a lot of you watching that haven't heard of Solar. I don't know as much about him, but a lot of these guys that come out, they try to play in a lot of online tournaments. They try to get. Uh, qualified to go travel internationally and be able to play in tournaments like this, and they, they you know, they want to, they just want support. Um, feel a little bit vindicated for the effort and time that they put in. And Solar is someone that you should just keep your eyes out for, seriously. Um, but Jadong, of course, everybody knows who this guy is. He's probably one of the best performing StarCraft II players across the board this year, um, with a plethora of second place finishes and. You know, he didn't take any of the big major titles, but you can't really, you can't really, you know, knock him down for getting to this, the, the semifinals of, like, almost every major cup this year. Um, or at least almost everyone he participated in, to, to clarify. So, he's got some Zerglings heading over towards the natural base of Solar. He wants to scout. See, hey, are you going gasless again? And he did open gasless, but now he's taking two. And Jadong himself opened gasless. He's not even taken any gas at all yet. I'm actually starting to wonder, when does Jadong take his gas now? He's really, really playing a very greedy setup. No gas at all. Yeah, eight drones. Jadong is just cranking them out. And, uh, Solar... I mean, he's doing his thing. Now Jadong's taking the gas. So a little bit later, he's taking his gas as Solar starts mining his gas. Which puts Solar ahead about... Mm, I'd say... Well, these these queens, what are these... What? That's un That made me feel uncomfortable to watch. Anyway. Solar's gonna be ahead a little bit in gas. That's all. We see the Roach Warren and the Evolution Chamber. And interestingly enough, it's just one Evolution Chamber. And I only mention that because we've seen this before. Guess who's also building just one Evolution Chamber with his Roach Warren? Jadong. But... Guess who's getting Zergling speed? Solar, this looks exactly like the build that he did on Polar Knight. Um, he might just go for the super big Roach bust with um, with his Zerglings and maybe bring the Queens this time as well. He's spreading the creep pretty aggressively. He's moving it straight out towards his opponent. And um, I was actually going to say, if he's getting his Lair, well, Jadong is getting a Lair, but no Lair for Solar. And he's got a lot of money saved up. Here we go. Nine Roaches on the way. 
He's gonna try to just kill Jadong again like he did on Polar Knight. And if he kills the Overlord, it's so good to kill Overlords because you want to just delay them from moving out. But he doesn't want to step too far away since these Queens do need to begin their arduous journey towards Jadong's base pretty damn soon. And Jadong may not realize it, but the Queens are probably going straight to his base to try to kill him again. Um, is he not going to try to kill this Overlord? Yeah, he should definitely try to kill that. And these Zerglings might try to catch the Queens of Jadong, but... There's a few links here from Solar, and these Queens are just going at it. Um, he should see this drone. Oh, wow, he sees that drone. Seeing that drone might make him think, oh, third base, but no, he saw the Zerglings. He's going to run it. He didn't see the lair. He didn't see the lack of a lair. But he's got to know now what is coming his way. And I fire Jadon, I'm going to almost actually cancel his creep tumors because they're going to help the queens get to him a little bit faster. Um, oh, oh, well. What do I know? Um, <clears throat> Jadong has his roaches out. He's got his queens together. So this is a big attack from Solar. And Solar has a similar number of roaches, but there's no Zerglings on the map for Jadong. And this is where things get tough because those Zerglings can add in so much extra damage and soak up just enough to allow Jada, uh, Solar's Roaches to win this fight. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. He's bringing them forward. He's picking off Jadong's Roaches. There are a lot of Queens here, though, for the Tyrant. And these Queens with the Transfuses for Jadong might actually be enough. Um, it seems like Solar's having a rough time actually breaking his opponent. There's still some Zerglings coming in, though. He's uh, The plus one attack is about to finish for Jadong. And it's actually a little bit farther away for Solar. So this will be really nice. Once Solar, once Jadon gets this upgrade, but now the Zerglings are getting in on top of these Roaches. It seems that Solar's actually starting to break his opponent's defenses, but Jadon holding strong in supply. He's not falling just yet. And this this is this is good. This is really, really good for Jadon. Solar is fully committed to this attack. He started the third hatchery behind this. He started his lair. He started Zerglings, but he doesn't have too much of a real follow-up. Jadong, though, is taking some pretty significant losses. That plus one attack is helping him rather nicely. It actually helps the Queens as well. So Solar is finally pushed back. And, uh, well, I mean, just look at it this way. Solar is in a weird position because he has a third base, yes, but he can't really drone it. And if he does, Jadong's counterattack could just win him the game. Uh, he's bringing his Queens. He's bringing his Roaches. He's got Roach speed because he got that lair at a pretty reasonable timing. Now, the plus one attack is going to finish with the Roaches of Solar, but... Yeah, he doesn't even need speed on these Zerglings. These are purely the tank. Jadong has the numbers advantage. He's up 20 supply in Roaches. And if he kills this Roach Warren, that's actually going to be catastrophic. It's dead. No more Roaches are going to come out for Solar. And just pure Ling aren't going to do really anything versus mass plus one Roach. Plus one Roaches kill Zerglings in two shots. That's the upgrade advantage that they're provided with. And they're just going to get on top of everything. Killing the Queens. Killing the Roaches of Solar. And he's got nothing left. Jadong takes the lead and he's one game away from winning 3,000 euros here at the Millennium Numericable Cup.